For question eight, we have draw the Lewis structure of CH2O2, which is going to be frankly tricky, but we're gonna try anyways. So with this being said, we have to think about what this means because there's many ways to draw CH2O2. We have to think of a way that will be able to really balance this out. So we have H2O2 Lewis, okay? So carbon, 14th column, four valence electrons. Hydrogen, the first column, it only has one valence electron, but there's two of them, so that's two. Oxygen, there's two of them, but it's on the 16th column. So that's six valence electrons each, so that's 12. So four plus two plus 12, we're working with 18 electrons. So with that being said, we're gonna need to, I believe, start with this and then move things around until something works. I have an idea in my head right now of what might work, but it's important to take it step by step just be able to see the mental process. So, carbon in the center, filling in the oxygens, because it was sharing one of its six, so it looks like that right now, incomplete octet. Same with this one. And the hydrogens are fine. The carbon as well is already sharing four of its four. So how do we take care of this situation here? I don't know, because this right here is not going to work and the oxygens wouldn't form a bond with each other it wouldn't end up doing like this although this sounds like a nice idea it's rarely seen unless specified even in the question because there are a lot of situations in um the real world where more molecules do form like these type of shapes like for example benzene and stuff and just uh, cycloalkenes or alkynes and alkanes but Overall, though, we want to avoid doing something like that. So then how do we take care of these two unpaired electrons? We really can't. So I propose we draw something else. <laughs> we would draw maybe this. C-O-H-O-H. Why did I draw this? Because as we balance this, we might be able to be able to solve our issue. So, and also the reason why I do this wasn't just out of random chance. I know hydroxide OH- minus is indeed a thing that likes to float around. So maybe by including a hydroxide here, I might be able to find a way to balance this out. So the same thing, we have one, two, three, four, five of the six, and one, two, three, four of the six. Because then this oxygen is already sharing two of its six, so this is fine. But now the carbon actually is sharing three of its four. So the fourth one's right there. And now finally we have a situation to where actually it's okay to put these bonds here because we're not breaking any octet rules. We're not having an awkward situation where we have to bond like a triangle. This can work. So we have now this. And funny enough, I think this is methanoic acid, but that's a different conversation. Um, this is a possible thing that can work. But let's double check with our total electrons and formal charges, and if they all follow the octet rules, at least the ones that can. So we want 18 electrons. We right now, I can count one, two, three, four, five bonds. That's 10 electrons so far. And I see one, two, three, four lone pairs. So that's eight electrons. So this does indeed have 18 electrons. Great start. And now, with that being said, does it follow the octet rules for the ones that can? Yes, it does. Formal charges. Carbon likes to just have four bonds to be a formal charge of zero, which is what it's doing here. The double bond just counts as two bonds. So that's good. Oxygen, on the other hand, likes two bonds and two lone pairs, which both oxygens are doing, which is also great. The hydrogen just likes to have one bond. 
which is also what it's doing. So all these I've drawn out on the side are just formal charges of zero for each atom, which is what each atom here is doing. And so this would be the best Lewis structure right here for CH2O2. Now, as I said, I do believe this is methanoic acid because this has the, if I rewrote this, it'd be HCOOH, which is usually the way you write it to imply that it's methanoic acid. With that being said, let's see how we did based on our colleague. Um, yep, they went right to draw like that, which is perfect. And then they drew it at first like this, but then they made it into the double bond to complete the octet. And this is perfect. This is correct. This will be the Lewis structure for it. So the lesson here really is that I think I was only able to find out because I was familiar with the other possible um, combinations of molecules I've seen. So I was able to identify a hydroxide and rearrange it as such like that. Um, with this, it is important that you can do that because as I first approached it, seeing that carbon had the most um, unpaired electrons, you almost force try to put everything around carbon. But sometimes as you see here, it's just not possible. So it's good to try to rearrange things, but aim to rearrange things in familiar things that you've seen before, okay? So question number nine.